Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss the difference between Hibernate and Spring Data GPA. Alright, so before we deep dive into the difference between Hibernate and GPA, it's important to understand what is a ORM, what is a GPA, and what is a Hibernate, and what is the data, Spring Data GPA. We first familiar with these concepts and then we'll see the difference between Hibernate and Spring Data GPA. And then later, I, I have created a sim sample Spring Boot application with Spring Data GPA dependency. I will show you the difference between Hibernate and Spring Data GPA with an example as well. All right, let's get started. So what is object relational mapping? So object relational mapping is simply a process of persisting any Java object directly into a database table. All right, so visually the name of the object being persisted becomes the name of the table all right and each field within that object becomes a column all right so for example you probably you know the gpa entities right so gp entity has uh you know it provides uh, gp provides a lot of annotations in order to map a java pojo class with a table all right so the class name becomes the name of the table and the fields in a class usually becomes the column of the table all right so so basically uh, orm it is a kind of a programming technique that provides a direct mapping between a java domain object with the relational database table all right now let us see what is the gpa so gpa stands for java persistence api that provides a specification for persisting reading and managing data from your java object to the relational tables in our database all right so object relational mapping is simply the process of persisting any java object directly into a database table and gpa is uh, you know is kind of object relational mapping technique all right and gpa provides the set of rules and guidelines for developing the interfaces that follows standard all right to keep it simple gpa is it suggests a guidelines to implement the object relational mapping and there is no underlying implementation for gpa all right and what is a hibernate so hibernate is an object relational mapping tool that provides an implementation of gpa so as we know that gpa is just a spaceship specification it doesn't have any underlying implementation all right so hibernate is you know actually the ORM tool that provides an implementation of gpa so basically hibernate is one of the most mature gpa implementations around with a huge community backing the project all right so hibernate provides a reference implementation of java persistent api that makes it a great choice as a orm tool with the benefits of loose coupling so loose coupling here means so whenever uh, we want to swap the underlying implementation of gpa then we can just switch Hibernate uh, from the Hibernate to, to the uh, Eclipse link. So there are multiple JPA implementations, for example, Hibernate, Eclipse link, Open JPA, Top link, etc. So whenever we want to, you know, change the implementation, so we can just uh, you know switch from Hibernate to Eclipse link or other implementations. So that is nothing but the loose coupling. So in short, JPA is the interface while Hibernate is the implementation. All right, you understood the difference between GPA and Hibernate, right? So now, what is the Spring Data GPA? All right, so Spring Data is a part of Spring Framework, okay? And the goal of the Spring Data repository is that it, it is just abstraction. It, it provides abstraction to significantly reduce the amount of boilerplate code required to implement a DAO layer for various persistent stores. All right, so whenever we connect to any you know, databases, then we need to write a lot of code in order to connect with the database to get the data, to process the data. All right, and we need to provide a code operations in order to you know create, delete, update, uh, read SQL queries. But Spring uh, Data JP is just provides abstraction and it reduces the number of code which is required to you know develop a DAO layer for various you know, persistent stores. So Spring Data GP is not a GP provider. It is a, just a library or a framework that adds an extra layer of abstraction on top of our GP provider. All right, you got the point, right? So Spring Data GP is not a GP provider. All right, it is just an abstraction 
and internally it uses a JPA provider. So JPA provider can be a Hibernate or Eclipse link or top link, you know, other uh, JP implementations. Okay, you got the difference, right? So once we are familiar with the concepts like ORM, JPA, Hibernate, Spring Data JPA, now let us see the difference between Hibernate and Spring Data JPA. Now we can able to understand, right? Because we understood the definitions of uh, different concepts like ORM, JPA, Hibernate and Spring Data JPA. So now Hibernate is JPA implementation. While Spring Data JPA is a JPA data access abstraction. Okay, so as we know that uh, Hibernate is a JPA provider and Spring Data JPA is just an abstraction on top of JPA provider. So Spring Data offers a solution to generic DAO custom implementation and it also generates a JPA queries on our behalf through the name method name conventions. So if you don't know uh, the Spring Data JPA and how uh, it provides, it generates uh, JPA queries and etc. Uh, visit my previous videos where I have explained about Spring Data JPA. All right. So just remember, Spring Data JPA it is just an abstraction on top of uh, you know Hibernate or any uh, you know JPA implementation, and it, it it you know it reduces the number of you know code that required to implement it over here. Okay. So it's Spring Data you may use a Hibernate Eclipse link or any other GPA providers. All right, so as I already mentioned, Spring Data GPA is just an abstraction, all right? So abstraction can have any implementation, right? So there can be Hibernate, Eclipse link, or any other GPA providers. So Spring Data GPA is not an implementation of GPA or neither a GPA provider. So it's just an abstraction used to significantly reduce the amount of boilerplate code required to implement the DAO layer for various persistent stores so remember spring data jp always requires a jp provider such as hibernate or eclipse link to work so whenever you want to use a jpa then make sure that you have to provide a jpa provider all right so this is the few differences between hibernate and jpa let me switch to the eclipse id where i have created a sample spring boot project and i wish i will show you the difference between hibernate and spring data jpa and how the Spring Data GP internally uses a JPA provider. So here is a, a you know, simple Spring Boot web application. So look at the Marvin dependencies first. So Spring Boot provides a Spring, you know, uh, different uh, starter dependencies. And Spring uh, Data GP is one of the starter dependency. And it internally uses Hibernate as a default GPA provider. So look at here Spring Boot Starter Data GPA. And in a pom.xml, so this is the Spring Boot Starter Data GPA dependency. Let us see, it's just an abstraction. Let me demonstrate that. See here, so it internally uses Hibernate. Okay, it internally uses Hibernate as a JPA provider. You got right. So Spring Data GPA is just a you know abstraction on top of JPA provider, it's not actual implementation. So it, it should in order to use Spring Spring Data GPA, we have to provide a Spring Data uh, a Spring uh, JPA provider that is Hibernate, Eclipse Link, uh, or other JPA providers. All right. So this demonstrates that. Spring Data GPA is just an abstraction and it is used to significantly reduce uh, the amount of code that is required to develop a DAO layers for various persistent stores. All right. So I hope you at least got the idea between, I know the difference between Hibernate and Spring Data GPA. So I, I hope you have find this uh, video useful. So subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, whenever i will publish a new videos i will, you will get updated all right thanks for watching i will see you in the next video